Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the carousel technique of fecal emulsification for soft cataracts. Soft cataracts are difficult to hold, so it is difficult to chop. And it is difficult to do stop and chop or divide and conquer technique for these kind of cases. By this time, the main incision has been made. I tried to do a sideboard, but this knife is not sharp. So I take a 26 case band needle, incise the anterior capsule and raise a flap. Now I take a uterata forceps, lift the anterior leaf of the main incision so that leakage of viscoelastic substance is minimal and go anticlockwise all around to do the rexes. Today Dr. Alexander Jeptik from Serbia is with me and he is watching this surgery live. So the continuous covilinear capsular axis is done now hydro dissection is to be done. BSS is taken in a 2 cc glass 2 cc syringe and 27 gauge cannula is being used for hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. Before that we have to do two side ports. This is one and this is another one. These side ports are about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision. Two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision. Now see the hydro dissection. Fluid air goes to the opposite equator and the hydro delineation is attempted and there is a golden ring which demarcates the nucleus and epinucleus and now how to rotate the nucleus there is many ways beginners can rotate the nucleus with two instruments take two Sinsky hooks or one chopper and one Sinsky hook and place it like this and the right instrument pushes the nucleus towards 6 o'clock and the left instrument pulls the nucleus towards 12 o'clock and thus you can rotate the nucleus very comfortably. And now let us see how the carousel technique is done. The teeth of the FECO handpiece is introduced the bevel is kept sideways towards the mass. It is at the junction of the epinucleus and nucleus. First remove some superficial cortical matter and then go at the edge of the nucleus. Face the nucleus and apply vacuum and energy go to position 3 and see the nucleus rotates and as it gets emulsified it becomes smaller and smaller in size and that's it the nucleus is managed and it is very safe very simple if you learn it yes before learning everything is difficult but once you have mastered something it is easy yes, epinucleus has been removed and now the cortical matter has to be removed viscoelastic substance is injected and now if you are using bimanual irrigation aspiration, use the irrigating probe to hydrate 
the cortex before using irrigation aspiration together like this go into the bag that is behind the anterior capsular rim and hydrate all the cortical matter like this and now if you use the irrigation and aspiration together see how quickly you can remove it at this moment irrigation is from the right side and aspiration from the left now you change hands now irrigation is from the left and aspiration from the right side port and very comfortably you can remove the cortical cortical matter so the cortex is removed and now this is hydro polish use the fluid jet direct the fluid jet towards the posterior capsule and move the row sideways and now is the time to implant a an intraocular lens and this is hydro implantation Yes, just by a push of the irrigating proof, the tilling haptic goes into the capsular bag and most of the time you don't have to use a Sinsky hook. Go behind the intraocular lens and remove the visco, visco which was there in the lumen of the cartridge. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now hydrate the sideboards so that these stab wounds close and become watertight. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time because fluid jet is directed towards the corneal endothelium very gently. And anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The intraocular pressure should be on the higher side and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will teach you the tricks of carousel technique. It is also known as cartwheel technique. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.